Hi, and welcome back to Worm Watts, where we harness the God-given power of compost worms to transform organic waste into amazing living fertilizer. Now today I'm really excited because we are in our, we're about to open up our red wiggler bin. And if you know a little bit about my story and how long it's, how long it took me to actually find red wigglers, then you know that this is very exciting. I'm hoping to see how they're progressing with the latest food that we put in there for them. A rather unconventional choice and something that <laughs> a viewer finally told me will probably be around for a long time. So long, so long, in fact, that I should probably put it in my will. And that is a whole coconut. So last time we were in here, I think it was about three days after we put in this whole coconut and we're here checking on the on the bin to see how things are going as you see here <clears throat> we've got these critters that are just racing around the bin those i believe are sow bugs here's one of them right here i'm going to zoom in on it so that you can take a good look and one of the distinctives about sow bugs as opposed to roly polies which people are very familiar with is that sow bugs do not roll up like roly polies do. And instead, they have two back appendages. Uh, so if this is the front, which I believe it is. Then on the back end, they have two little, uh, two little appendages that kind of stick out there. And that is what makes them unique and different than a roly poly. And these ones seem to be incredibly fast. And watch this one just uh, maneuver it's quite uh quite speedy in the way that it does so but without further ado i'm going to go ahead and zoom back out and we will go ahead and lift up the the worm blanket and take a look at what's going on down here so as we get down here we have the leaf bedding that we put down. I love using leaves. And these were leaves that were actually out and about in the elements. So they got nice and to some degree broken down. And look here, if you look at the bottom of the worm blanket, look at how many different critters we've got there. That I believe is a roly poly, the one that is a little, has a little bit of a unique coloration that's kind of moving kind of a little bit slowly there. And then the ones that are racing right by it are the sow bugs. So a common name that you'll hear for a roly poly is a pill bug. And these other ones, these speed racers, these are the sow bugs. So I've got some roly polies here. You can see them. They're kind of small, actually. There's one. One right. One right there. And uh, I will say that the roly polies and the sow bugs seem to be doing well in this environment. I think the leaf litter is really helpful for them. And as I dig down into here, I can feel it's slightly moist. It's not as moist as I would like it to be. So I will probably go ahead and add some more moisture in there. And then look here. This is the neat part. This is the coconut. And I'm really excited because those holes in there allow for these sow bugs and all of the other critters to actually just go straight into the coconut and enjoy, hopefully, I hope they're enjoying. Oh, looks like there's a fly coming out of there. Darn, I was hoping that something else would have found that, but yeah, it looks like the flies are getting in there and probably are the ones taking advantage of the the. Uh, coconut water that spoiled in there but look in this corner this is just incredible look at all of those look at all of those isopods i think all of these are sow bugs that are in the corner just having a field day and it's just it's really neat to see the other critters that actually make up the bin over here we've got a roly poly it's come out to play and further down where it's probably more moist is where we're probably going to see a lot more of the worms. So, 
In order to allow the worms to migrate further up, I'm going to go ahead and moisten this down some more. Because this bin, I will acknowledge, is a little bit dry. I was expecting the coconut to release a little bit more moisture, but that hasn't happened yet, which is perfectly fine. It would probably do so if I turned it upside down, if I just uh, overturned it. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it the way it is right now. Sorry for my fingers getting in the way. I'm going to spray the worm blanket as well. Keep that nice and moist for our decomposing crew. And look at this. Even on the edge of the bin, we've got this guy trying to trying to go and explore new lands. So we've got a roly poly on the corner there. So they are not they are not intimidated in the least to try to explore the great beyond. So I'm just gonna spray this down. When I did feel the coconut, it didn't really feel soft in any in any spots, so I think that is Kind of telling that it is going to be a long decomposition process but i'm really excited with the leaves here and just the other decomposers that are present here and it's just really neat to see the the environment the community that's building around this all right so i've gone ahead and put the worm blanket back over the top and i'm just going to moisten this down as heavily as I'm able to. Really want to increase the moisture in the bin. That'll help with all of the decomposition and with the the worms being able to migrate to here. Because right now they're they're definitely staying in the lower regions where it's a little drier or where, i'm sorry where it's a little more moist so but uh, yeah at the top it's a little bit drier the isopods seem to not mind that too much we're gonna get it nice and moist though All right, we're just going to continue spraying. want it to be nice and very wet on top. And with it being, with the worm blanket having all of the holes, obviously some of that is going to get down into the leaves, which is great. And hopefully it will help to kind of hold the moisture there. really see it starting to pool the moisture starting to pool which is kind of what we're hoping for and I imagine that over the course of several days that moisture will distribute itself throughout the bin Look at them. <laughs> There's a little party over here with all these isopods. So many of them. Look at that one right there on the edge. Living life on the edge. Yeah, they seem to be doing really well. From what I've seen, isopods can live for several years in good conditions. So hopefully we're giving them nice, nice conditions to be able to enjoy the bin as well. And I'm hope, my hope is that they will continue to assist the worms with breaking down all of this organic matter, especially breaking down those nice leaves and 
helping some of that some of that microbiology in the leaves to get distributed throughout the bin. All right, well, I feel like that's a pretty, pretty decent watering here. We've gone, I took the bottle from about being completely full to about halfway. So it's a good bit of water. I think we'll just go ahead and let the bin <clears throat> set and distribute that moisture throughout at this point. And hopefully we'll we'll see a little bit more moisture hitting those leaves. Again, one thing to keep in mind about the leaves is that they're not going to uh, leaves don't typically hold moisture super well. They're almost a little bit like the chaff that I use. Um, they don't have a super great absorption level, especially when they're not broken down quite a bit or or when they haven't been ground up and and things like that, which increases the surface area and allows them to absorb a little bit more. So. Given the state that they're in right now, I think that even the, the small amount of moisture that I was able to feel as I was working through the bin, I think that's going to be the amount of moisture that we might expect these leaves to take on. And you can kind of see that the moisture has kind of penetrated through the worm blanket just like we expected. And hopefully it'll kind of hold with the, the blanket, with the lid on and all of those things to kind of help the help the bin thoroughly get nice and moist so that the worms can make their way up. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. Again, really excited to be here in the Rachel bin, the bin of red wigglers that we have, and hopefully the worms will thrive in here so that we can spread them to uh, some of our, our new bins or some of the bins that, that are on the horizon because I love starting new worm bins. And so Look forward to involving you in those adventures here soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.